Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. So it's Halloween night. By the time you guys watch this video, it's probably going to be November 1st or 2nd. So a lot of you don't know that I work for an all Indian company. So tomorrow we are actually celebrating Diwali. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that right. I'm pretty sure I am. I've been with the company like three years now. And we're celebrating Halloween. So tomorrow is November 1st. So we're going to have like a celebration and I offered to bring something. I didn't even buy anything. I'm, I was just hoping that I had something in my house that I could make and make it look Halloween. I don't know what I'm going to make yet. But anyway, um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make something. I'm going to show you what I'm making. And tomorrow at work, I'm going to show you the celebration. And for those of you who doesn't know what Diwali is, I'm either going to insert a clip or I will insert some pictures and, you know, tell you what it's all about. But um, being the only American at an all Indian company, I have really, you know, gotten to know a lot of their holidays. I've eaten so many of their, you know, their snacks and food and all kinds of celebrations. So um, if any of you have any questions about um, how it feels to be an American working for an all Indian company, leave me a question down below. But all in all, 90% of the people that I work with are excellent. Um, everybody makes me feel welcome, at home, um, part of the family. Um, actually, out of all the people that I work for, two buildings full of people, there's actually only about two or three people that kind of go out of their way to make me feel uncomfortable. And it is awkward. So I'm an American, I'm Christian, and they go out of their way to make me feel uncomfortable. But it's only three women out of everybody that I work with. Isn't that a shame? So it just goes to show you, there is that same childish office mentality in every culture. But with that being said, I hope they like what I bring. I don't even know why I told you guys that. Anyway, let me start making something. Okay, so I decided to make brownies in hopes I could make some kind of Halloween looking brownies. I'm not sure. So like I said, tomorrow we are actually celebrating um, Halloween and Diwali. So where I work, there's two buildings full of people. In my building, I'm just about the only American. The other building does have American people working there, so I just wanted to clarify that. And also I want to say that if you guys are vegan and you do not eat things like this that, you know, calls for eggs, always use applesauce and it tastes identical. Nobody knows that I don't use eggs and I only use applesauce. And that is because my very best and dear friend at work, Yogi, she does not watch my YouTube channel, she doesn't even know I have a YouTube channel, but she is the nicest person ever. And every time we have anything, cake or, you know, she always misses out. She can't eat it. So everything I make, I make sure it's vegan for her. So now I'm going to get started on these brownies and let you guys see what they look like. I'm really hoping I can record a lot tomorrow and show you all the food, you know, all the diversity. And, you know, it's so cool. It really is. Um, I will try to record. I don't want to invade anybody's, you know, privacy or anything like that. So I will see how much I, re you know, I can record. But I want to get started on these brownies and see how I can make them look Halloweenish. So the first batch of brownies are done. I was just taking them out of the oven, and I've been passing out candy all night. And there's not that many kids coming to the door. It's Halloween night. I don't know when you guys are watching this video, but I've been passing out candy by the handfuls to get rid of it. So I'm all out of candy. I went to turn out my porch light and someone's at my door. So I thought fast and I told him one second. I was thought I was out of candy. All I have left is a big bag of Japanese candy. So I told him I just got back from Japan one second. So I got the little girl all kinds of Kit Kats. I got her some cookies, some Japanese cookies. And that was the perfect scenario because she was with her dad. I was thinking about giving some of this away, but if you think about it, once the kids get the candy home and the parents look at it and they see all this foreign candy that they don't recognize, 
they would probably toss it, and that would not be good. So anyway, a perfect scenario. The dad said, that is so cool. So I gave him some too. Anyway, I thought I would throw that in there. So that was the perfect ending to my uh, Halloween night so far. So now both brownies are done and they're cooling off. I'm going to cut them up and decorate them with some kind of orange icing or something. Maybe try to give them some kind of Halloween look. And we'll see how they turn out. So these are how my brownies turned out. Really good. So I made two pans of brownies and kind of stacked. And I only decorated the ones on top. And here are some leftovers. So I will try to record as much as I can of our luncheon tomorrow. And at least I will show you guys all the food. And don't forget, stick around to the very end of the video. And I'm going to show you what Diwali is. So um, I'm not sure what I can record, but I'm sure you're going to hear people talking and you know, hear different things, and that's because, um, yeah, I work for an all-Indian company. So what you hear may not be in English. We'll see. And I'm at work now, and I'm going to try to show you guys everything later. A lot of the people are all dressed up, so I'll see what I can show you. Oh, everything looks so good. One of my customers sent it to me. But, yeah. Come on, Nisha. I was, was going to wait till they open everything so I could see what it is. <laughs> so we can sit down. Oh, true, true.